Our glorious navy is even now sweeping aside the last of the American fleet. It is now time to turn our might against America, to ensure an end to their meddling in our ocean. We will take the island of Midway and secure the airfield for our planes. Then we can prepare for the final assault on their precious Hawaii and take complete control of all the Pacific. Welcome back everybody to another episode of Accident Allies. Last episode, which has which I haven't recorded in, oh my god, probably a, a good many months, to say the least. It's been a very, very long time since I've actually recorded this. <sighs> Mainly for the reason that um, I ended up being so far ahead that I was like, ah, this shouldn't be an issue whatsoever. And then I'm like, oh, I have to do these two maps. Mmm, great. Now, the last two uh, maps in the Axis campaign are annoying. This one is especially annoying. What you have to do, you have to essentially take this island here, and you have to take this island here. And so it's essentially just one of you bomb, and bomb, and bomb, and bomb, and bomb. That's pretty much what you do, is just bomb. You start with 10,000 gold. I know it's money. I've already said it before. It's gold. It looks like gold. Be quiet. Now, if you end up destroying battleships, um, also keep in mind there are three carriers here that you have to be careful about. Uh, you want to get rid of these get rid of these carriers as fast as possible and preferably get rid of the battleships too. Uh, that might be a little bit tricky. Um, and might just, you know, end up taking a little bit because otherwise they're going to be spawning HQs and troops and everything and it's really not worth your time. So first thing you want to do, you want to go ahead, move, move your battleships over in this direction. Don't deploy any troops yet. Don't bother. There's really no point. Um, if you would want, you could potentially come after this island first. However, I would not recommend it. Uh, you really don't have the time for it. And I'm going to go ahead and keep the map on because I don't particularly want to spend forever and a half on this. So, if you don't like that, I don't care. I'm about to capture the islands and... I'm not even sure you could have this much on midway in the first place. There's a lot of just... This is probably way too big for Midway. It was not a particularly large island. Uh, nor do I believe it had any, um... In, like, comparison to Wake, or... Maybe I'm thinking of the other way around. I probably am thinking of the other way around. But, uh, you end up having, um... A, a like, a, a shallow reef. I don't know much more about the Battle of Midway. Uh, the p whole Pacific operation, I... Well, I shouldn't say Operation, I should say Campaign. The whole Pacific Campaign, I really never learned much about. Um, it was never really something that more interested me. I I mean, even in World War II in general, I'm not very well um, versed in compared to what I could be. Okay, you're not going to be annoying, aren't you? Go here, you deploy. The stupid boat's in my way. <laughs> Literally, he's in my way. It's like, excuse me, don't mind me. It's a good thing that you can't destroy me. Those things are humongous, by the way. Like, my god. Those troop transports, it's like a quarter the size of the goddamn of the goddamn battleships. That's really huge. And yep, you're saying your force is out. Uh, you have... Okay you, don't, okay, you have one bomber that's being deployed right now. That's fine. The likelihood of you losing your battleships is pretty high. Um, you want to go ahead and use your bombers against the carriers as quickly as possible. You can send them after this one. And your two battleships should be should have enough effective range to deal with this one down here, but that's a little bit uh, iffy and dissy. So, preferably you end up getting rid of them before you end up losing one battleship. I was guaranteed to lose one. Uh, you can get two more if you get rid of all battleships, I believe. Oh no! If you end up getting rid of uh, two of the carriers, you end up getting more battleships apparently. Or, I don't know what it is now. It's been a long time since I've actually ended up playing um, this map. So, you pretty much know my strategy. What I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to go ahead and um, just cut until I get rid of these carriers. And uh, maybe stop some forces down here on the island. And then I will meet you guys back in just a bit. Okay, and we are back. 
and I'm getting rid of the three aircraft carriers, finally. And I end up landing some airborne infantry down onto this island over here. Uh, you generally want to do that as quickly as you can. And, oh, right, I forgot about the battleship. Oops-a-daisy, I forgot about that. I don't know why I forgot about that yet, but I was going to say until... If he gets an airfield down, then it's a little bit annoying. And, yeah, this guy, he's been bombarding me, and... It's not particularly all that good. Forgot about that. Forgot they, I forgot that they do that. Because a lot of times they honestly won't. Just um, in this situation they do. But you want to get rid of airfields as quickly as possible if, if you can. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. And at this point, I was going to say, granted, you probably can't even do anything. Because you're just like, derping around there. You got yourself fucking beached. Look at you. Why are you getting yourself beached? I don't know. I mean, maybe you should also... Uh, you're just kind of thinking maybe get rid of those fires that might be a little bit useful I'm just kind of saying You know, it's really a good thing that uh, the AI in this game <laughs> Doesn't engage in ship-to-ship -ship combat unless they uh, started that way because otherwise that would be relatively bad um, Especially because I would not be able to uh, You wouldn't be able to beat many maps um, Well, I should say a map that is uh you have to essentially have sea units, because otherwise, you're a little bit foobard. Now, what I want to do, yeah, I need to scout around, see what I can find, even though any scout plane they send out is going to be destroyed within a minute. So I don't know why I'm even really bothering. Go ahead and attack that bunker, even though you're going to end up all losing. All four of you. <laughs> yeah, main, uh, main issue with the uh, Japanese. They do not have their... They don't have any machine gun ability, which is definitely unfortuitous. Yep, there's a plane goes. I mean, eventually, if I send enough planes down, what will end up happening... Oh yeah, I should also want to get rid of this battleship before the, um... He's putting another core HQ down. Because that would be also extremely irritating. Look at you, man. You're the one dude left. You're, you, yourself, are the one dude. <coughs> you end up getting a promotion. Don't know by you. <coughs> and apparently I'm not doing particularly well. Granted, I'm also trying to record when, you know, I'm still recovering from is what I what I can only assume is a concussion. And I locked myself out uh, a few days ago on a, on a job. Not sure by what. My assumption would be, you know, uh, the property that I was working at, they've got a... Um, they got a metal bar for their, for their top gate, and uh, that ended up. Um, I have to duck under to. I have to duck under it to you know be able to move. So I think I just end up beating my head on that, and I'm trying to get these stupid things to line up. There. Now all of you should be able to. There we go. Good job. You got all four guns on them. You know you got a tiny ass gun here. You have three big guns, and then tiny gun, yet they're all the exact same... Uh, yeah, no, caliber would be the would be the term for it. They would be called caliber. I was thinking they may be something else. I'm like, no, no, they'd probably be caliber. I was going to say, while I'm here... While I'm here... Go deploy that. Issue is that if I end up doing that, uh, he might also end up just like, I like, he, you engage in combat three times. Good job, dude. Crawl around and you're dead. Oh well. But uh, you might end up uh, not b trying to bombard. Maybe. Hopefully. I'm, God, I'm playing, I've been playing way too much uh, other games. My brain's used to other controls. How I've been playing a lot uh, right now, of all things, is uh, Icewind Dale. The enhanced edition, not the, not the um, not the original one. The it's so difficult. I don't remember. The, I don't remember the original being so difficult. So it may not be. Oh yeah, if you're bombarding me, thanks, dude. Thanks. Totally, that's what I wanted. Granted, I mean, even if this thing has a green uh, bombard, some I it doesn't matter much to me. All right, fine. Yeah, I'm also used to space being paused. Just run away quickly. Get out of here before they bombard you fully. Run! Flee! 
Flea try. Nah, I think you're gonna not be able to be used. I mean, it might be okay. Fine, deploy on the top of the island. There you go. Now you should be fine. I don't think he can hit you. That's pretty far. He's shooting across and nope, he's dead. <sighs> fine, my my inspiration. It did not work. I need to find you know what? I know there's stuff here, so I'll just go ahead and bombard here. And bomb all this stuff. I forgot. I'll just go ahead and use a fourth one. And bomb that too. Why not? And see where your core HQ truck is, because I don't really remember where it is. Oh, hey, you're destroying all your truck. You're uh, dismantling your trucks here. Yeah, where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? You're going to try to drive across the. Would this be considered a straight? I'm not sure. I'm not sure the uh, definition of things of that sort. Ah, uh, you have an airfield uh, that I need to deal with immediately. This is the reason why you do not send all your planes out at once. Airfield, thankfully, no bombers though. At least not yet, so I'll be able to get rid of that before that. And you got destroyed immediately. Wow, that's not particularly good. You're so gonna take forever. Ugh. That's the issue with these, um, with these types of, um, maps, at least with me, where they're so tedious. Am I even gonna be able to get that thing destroyed? Or am I gonna have to use my special? I'm, I'm probably gonna have to use my special. Because of all these stupid anti-air that they have here. They have just so many anti-air, it's like, my god. No, I think I'm just going to have to use my... I, I can go ahead and use that, I guess. I might have an extra. Maybe. I prefer to not use it if I don't have to, but I think I do. Go, man! Quick! Get there fast! Nope, nope, you're dead. Let's get your bombs off. You got your bombs off. Good going, kid. There, now it's finally destroyed. Send that out now too. Did I was like, I was like, why? Wait a minute, I'm like, I don't have an objective. Nope, because <laughs> they still have that airfield. I forgot about that. But yeah, you're not even gonna be, you're not even gonna be able to get there. No. All right, fine. Bye. Now do it before they uh, end up. Oh, really? Oh, for fuck's sake, so you got the goddamn airfield back? Ugh. I hate having an airfield. They are so annoying to deal with. Alright, fine. Just go back up here. I can also just make an airfield myself. That's probably not a bad idea. I'm gonna need a few. Carrier born aircraft are not the greatest. I can't even speak now. God damn it, Brian. I just need more episodes of this that end up coming out. I just want to finish the series. Because it's kind of one that I'm like, eh, eh, my god. What the hell, man? Really? Is that necessary? Is that really honestly necessary? I think you're going a little bit overboard. Just kind of saying, you're, it, that's a bit much. Just really... <laughs> Well, nobody's going to invade us from this side. It's like, hmm, okay. Sure. Good going, kid. Whatever you say, kid. Whatever you say. Granted, it would also be nice if I had um, some upgraded aircraft, too, but I don't have that either. I was really hoping that that special would have gotten rid of it, but what can you do? Just, really? That's all I had to say is just really. Okay. Come on. You've got to be kidding me. This is just... Remember when I said that economic warfare is really the only good way to deal with this? Yeah, I guess what? I'm not wrong. Now granted, I could go spend like an hour to three hours on this and it'd be perfectly fine. But, nope. No. I just... Just no. I don't care what you say. I'm not fucking dealing with this. <laughs> Plain and simple. All you building is starve. That's all just... That's what I'm going with. Sticking with my story. I should not be recording right now. But eh, I need more of episodes anyway. And you... <clears throat> once you end up capturing the airfield on this island, you end up getting more battleships, which... 
how they end up coming from this direction is beyond me. Because, I mean, you know, it's like, yeah, they're coming from Japan. Even though we're, they're coming from the wrong direction from Japan. They'd be coming from, I don't even know what's over here. Essentially, just more ocean than the United States would be from that direction. I'd be, if they came from, I don't know, maybe the Aleutians, even though. Is that how you pronounce them, the Aleutians? I, I don't remember anymore now. Essentially, those islands. Then, yeah, maybe you'd be okay, but... I'd assume that, you know, they all, the Japanese had invading those islands, which they would have really no point to. Because the whole invasion in the first place was meant as a... As a um, as a distraction operation, and I they I think they land on two of the islands, but they got pushed out within a, a month or two. I don't remember. I don't remember the details. I haven't really read up on that campaign like at all, even though I probably should, because that's one of the more interesting, like lesser well-known um, sections of uh, of like campaigns just in general. Uh, maybe not anywhere near. Probably not anywhere near as much as say. Um, I don't know, probably the Winter War. A lot of people don't know about the Winter War. Um, when the Soviet Union invaded uh, Finland, or they also probably don't know, a lot of people probably don't know much about um, the uh, Soviet invasion of Manchuria at the very tail end of the war, which I think, and of course, you know, some people will probably say different, I think is the uh, main reason that Japan ended up going, ended up surrendering. To the Americans, it wasn't the nuclear bombs. It was a combination of um, of just the fact that they're not only were they being bombed with nuclear weapons that hadn't been seen before, but it was also a case of them the uh, last remaining um, you know skilled army essentially, um, which was essentially the remnants of the Kuantan army end up being mowed down by the Soviets, and they probably feared the Soviets more than the Americans, probably. Um, the basis for that, I, I couldn't tell you off the top of my head, because I, I don't remember. Uh, I don't remember specifics, but I remember reading that, and, you know, it, to me, it makes sense. To other people, it may not, but, you know, that's just kind of how it is. Everyone has differing opinions, and, you know, as even somebody that's trying to be, like, say, an alternate historian or whatever, you know, you want to make sure that you don't bring them bias, or at least attempt to not bring them bias. Which, with other people, of course, they, there's a lot of that, to say the least. There's a lot of bias. Uh, even in terms of history, with stuff that's relatively clear-cut. There's a lot um, that, I mean, and it's unavoided, plain and simple. There's no way that uh, you can prevent it from happening, but it'd be nice if you could. Oh, uh, what, what the hell do you end up hitting? What, what are you doing? Did you... I'm not sure I want to know. All I can tell is that you idiots got yourself beached. That's all I can tell. Just like, hey, let's go through a street here, or, you know, plow straight into the land. Great idea, guys. Good going. And you're being bombed. What the hell? Nothing's hitting you. Hmm. I thought maybe you have uh, sea mines or something. I I don't know. I don't think I can actually move you until your planes are gone. Oh, please don't be a situation. Just move. And you have to wait for all your planes to get back on, I guess, before you can move. Or, oh no, you're just like completely and totally stuck. Get off the beach. Get off the bit. No, he is properly beached. Oh, no, no, there we go. I don't think that's how it works in real life where you can, where you can just uh, slide directly off without an issue. I don't think that's how it works. I'm just saying, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's not how it works. See, can, yeah, okay, you can reach over here. That's good. There you go. Now, you people need to move. Why are you not wanting to move to the right? Whatever. Just, you, you're the smart one. That's hard for me to say. Also, which direction is, uh, no, I guess that'd be a correct direction. Let's move here. Why are these boats here? Why, it's also a, uh, no, no, sorry, that's an American. Okay, I thought it was a, saying that it was a British boat. I'm like, why is there just a random ass British boat here? Why would somebody have, uh, what are the, they're probably like fishing trolleys of some sort, but, 
why they haven't been made into torpedo boats or something of the sort. I don't know. It would make sense if they were, but they aren't. You know, I, I know that... I mean, did they even... Does... Really? You lost some powers yourself. Get going, dude. I know you weren't stuck, but you just, like, awesome powered yourself. That's all I gotta say. Okay, all of you. I end up leaving... Ugh, I'm an idiot. I left the stupid, um, bounce up on the other side, so... I'm gonna have that issue. Because, you know, a core HQ is gonna just be deployed. And I know the AI, they can deploy core HQ trucks. Um, you know, essentially whenever the hell they want, I'm pretty sure. How these did not get destroyed, I have no idea. I, I guess the guy, they just didn't load fast enough or something. Leaving in the bunkers and anti-aircraft stuff is recommended. I just need to find a good target. And, you know, it's gonna, my planes are gonna get immediately shot down, but I gotta find a good target. I'll see if they have to, if they built an airfield, a core HQ, or anywhere. Because I really don't want to deal with, um, I don't particularly want to deal with all the stupid uh, issues at having just what are you doing everyone just like hauled together like yep here we up oh, yep yep there is one i can't hit you with with my um with my battleships but i will go ahead and bombard you here where the battleships will also be a pretty decent idea and i may be overkilling it a little bit fine i'll put one here may have been overkilling it just a wee bit but yeah there's no such thing as overkill. It's called satisfaction. Let's go and speed this up a little bit. We 200% speed go. That's another feature I really wish more games had. It was a speed up feature. That'd be pretty useful. There's just so many goddamn people. Just so many people. I'm surprised that my recording is not... I'm not going to say that. Nope, you didn't hear a damn thing. I'm apparently, I end up like hitting something. I don't even know what the hell I hit. That's being bombarded. Okay, there we go. There's another core HQ. Okay, yeah, that's definitely destroyed. I'm surprised they even have the ability to, you know, like have anywhere near as many troops as they do deployed. Now uh, there's some stuff up here that's probably not destroyed. So that's probably exactly the reason why. Yep, there's some stuff up here. Uh, I can f go ahead and fix that. Build myself an airfield here, which, yes, I did upgrade. Go ahead and deploy all of you. It's a good thing they start you out with so much money, because otherwise uh, that would not be particularly fun to try to deal with. You know, economics and everything. Hmm, never fun to... In some games, they're more fun than others to have. Uh, in this game, it would be relatively irritating, unless they had you know, a completely different um, style. You know, if you had to, like, manage, like, economics, essentially, like, this game's World War II mode, um, which I'm not a fan of in the first place. I've never particularly liked it. Okay, so there's nothing over here. Let me just go ahead and just bombard this. Uh, yep, yeah, there we go. There's those two down. That's destroyed. Now, just, uh, some, some supply stuff. That's really the only thing left. What the hell hit you? Uh, you probably just walked into a mine or these caltrips or whatever they're referred to as. I think they're referred to as caltrips, or I could be 100% incorrect on that one, too. And go. You know, it's also a good thing that these airfields cannot be used. This is also a shitty airfield. It, you've got... It looks so... It's bad. It's plain and simple, it's bad. Okay. My rain needs to stop talking for a bit. Uh, this is what happens when you try to uh, when you try to play a game when you really, really shouldn't be. Uh, probably the way I'm going to go ahead and end this. I'm just going to go ahead and place down a fair bit of airborne. Always a good thing to be using. And uh, six should be enough, hopefully. Maybe give some, some bomber support. This is generally how the maps always end up going. Just I've never liked these maps. Plain and simple. Hey, up to 400% speed. Super fast motion. Probably would have been smart if I ended up um, giving them a little bit of air cover too. Oh well, they'll be fine. Don't worry about it. I'm surprised you did not immediately die. I I'm literally surprised. Yep. 
you have a little, you have a little less, a uh, little left but infantry. Now even I can't speak. Now great. Now I'm gonna go ahead and destroy these fortifications when you get the chance to. Assuming that you're gonna be able to defeat these, which you may or may not be able to, I'm probably gonna to have to send more out. Yep, go ahead and deal with all of you people really quick. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take this down because that's starting to really annoy even my head. Um, yep, go and just defeat them all. This is totally how it worked in real life. Just everyone been like, they'd all just disappear, and you know there'd be no ships that even tried to come and help. Because you know, why would they do that? You know who cares about Wake? I'm not even sure that Wake has enough. I don't even think it's in range of Hawaii. I'm trying to remember what I ended up reading, but it's been a long time ago. Yeah, I think Wake Island was like 1,700 miles off from from Hawaii or, or something of the sort. I don't remember the distances off the top of my head. I remember that even if they were to take the uh, take the um, take the islands here, it wouldn't have done the damn like a good for the reason that oh well, I mean they wouldn't have been able to be within. Um, aircraft range of them in the first place, which is not surprising. You know, the, uh, their Zeros, and I don't remember what they ended up making besides the Zeros. I know they made more besides it, I just don't remember what the hell it was. Again, a uh, factor when I don't really learn about that sort of stuff. Uh, I didn't, regarding just, like, weaponry in general, I tend to not be very well versed. Um, I know a, a little tiny bit about tanks and a little tiny bit about weaponry and like what they end up using. Uh, the weaponry mainly comes from uh, channels I ended up watching on occasion. But outside like of that, it's like next to nothing. Really. <laughs> There's really little. You still- really? How did none of you get hit up? Okay. I guess I ended up just winning the match. I figured I had to fight all the bunkers, but I guess not. Yeah, sorry about the really crappy episode, but I just wanted to get this done. I, I needed, I wanted to finish the series quickly, so I guess I'll see you guys next time for the last mission slash possibly last episode. So I will go ahead and see you guys then.